Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Overall energy we have is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Looks like you've been in a relationship with someone for a very long time, but your relationship doesn't seem to be getting to that point of stability, the point of commitment, okay? Either this is ending a long-term commitment or this is just someone who's literally, you guys, struggling to reach that um, position of commit being in a commitment okay now the ten of pentacles in reverse does not always have to mean a long-term commitment it can be a relationship which is as good as a commitment but you just don't reach that point you know that label of having of being exclusive um in the past i think with the start here you were healing i think you were wishing hoping and praying that things would be okay so with the star here uh, this is healing more than uh hope but yeah this could be a breakup a separation that you've had okay more like a tower moment, okay? And with the star here, I feel you were trying to heal us from a situation. Right now, with the four of swords in reverse here, either you've been restless about a situation or there's, just, there's been a break between you guys, okay? You and the person you're dealing with. But there's definitely someone here. We'll see if this is restlessness or this is just someone here who's just, you know, overthinking about a situation, okay? But the four of swords in reverse can also mean someone who's wanting to come out of isolation and talk to you. Your biggest influence or challenge out here is the king of pentacles, which is to get that stability, that security within the relationship. But what I see with the four of swords in reverse with the king of pentacles, I feel that there's someone here who's coming out of that withdrawing, that retreat, that ghosting, whatever this person has done to you. Not ghosting exactly, but this is more like you guys have definitely parted ways and you got, you're both in your corners but i feel there's the challenge here is the king of pentacles of wanting to get into something exclusive wanting to get into that stability that security all right on your mind is the moon here which means that there is a lot of fear of the unknown okay you don't know what's going to happen next you probably fear that there's the same cycle that's going to repeat itself or with the moon here there's a lot of illusions you know you're into that belief system of yours uh following the same cycle over and over again but the moon to me is a lot of fear okay this is fear stress anxiety about something it's all like everything's under wraps and you have no clue whatsoever about what's going to happen or what's going to occur the reason for the reading, the root of the issue is the world here, which means you've successfully completed a cycle with someone, all right? The world is closing out cycles. So you've definitely closed out a cycle with someone who could be non-committal, all right? And now the biggest challenge out here is for this person to come in towards you with that stability. Looks like that's why you guys are not talking. But um, yeah, you've definitely closed out a cycle. Could be something toxic, doesn't have to be. But you've uh, see yourself as successfully completed a cycle with this person, okay? Like there's this sense of a accomplishment, like not like a regret, but more like, yeah, like, okay, like you're in a very comfortable place right now, okay? But you've definitely got closure about some sort or you've just shut the cycle and shut the door on this person's face. But the world is also endings, but it is also new beginnings, okay? So we're gonna talk about that later. In the near future, we have the judgment in reverse here. <coughs> to me, the judgment in reverse is two ways. One, either you're not listening to your higher self or you're not wanting to give something a second chance here. Scorpio, it looks like you are very, very, um, you're not sure about wanting to give someone a something a second chance here, okay? There is an opportunity of something coming around, but you're not listening to your higher self because you're looking at the past whatever happened in the past year you're, you're looking at it more like a regret rather than looking at it as a lesson learned okay you're not learning your lessons you're still repeating a negative pattern this could also be you giving someone a second chance here and again repeating the same cycle without learning your lessons all right could be both of you because we do have the lovers here which is coming in which you don't see here the lovers this is a card of gemini but you could be dealing with one doesn't have to be but this is someone who's bringing in a lot of love here. The lovers is someone who thinks of you as a soulmate, a twin flame. This is a strong ass connection that you cannot fucking shake off. All right. But with the lovers here, this person has a lot of love for you. This is a love you. I want you. Could be dealing with someone, like I said, who had fear of commitment, who did what want to. Um, maybe you wanted something out in the public. You wanted public recognition. You know, you wanted to marry this person, but this person refused. You were probably more emotionally involved with this person you felt that deep connection and this person was not that involved with you but looks like they're coming in <clears throat> they're coming in because you've done the healing they've done the healing here with the star here 
But with the judgment in reverse here, it can go two ways. Either you don't want to give this a second chance or there is just a pattern that's repeating itself because you you're, you have the fear of um, uh, making the wrong decision. The judgment in reverse is also indecision, okay? How you see yourself is the death here. So yeah, that's you, Scorpio. You show up in your reading. That's fab, okay? So you see yourself as transitioning, okay? Either you want a huge transition within this connection or you've ended this for good and you're like, you know what? Bye-bye. I'm done. I'm done for good, okay? You're shedding the old. Now, shedding the old can be shedding old patterns, shedding old thoughts, leaving old people behind who don't serve you, who don't make you happy. There is an inevitable ending that has happened and for you with the death here, you're taking it very well. Yeah, Scorpio, I love that about you. You're taking it very well. You're literally... Um, letting the old die and there's been a rebirth okay this could have been long coming and you could have been resisting this because of fear because it would have been pushed you outside or out of your comfort zone but with the death and the nine of wands you're you're super guarded from this person yes i don't see you as completely giving up <clears throat> energetically we this, it's still the nine the nines are all about endings and new beginnings but again the nine is still the nine of wands is perseverance okay like you still have that one last hope left that maybe this person just won't fuck it up this time, okay? So yeah, the Nine of Wands is very, very guarded, okay? Because of your experiences with this person here, you do feel that this person is again going to mess things up. You're in a repeated, you know, again, repetitive cycle is what I'm hearing, okay? Same shit, different day, all right? And that's why you're so guarded with this person and you hold your horses, okay? For you, it's like, I'm done, ending it, all right? So yeah, but with the three of wands in reverse here, there is some kind of disappointment here or with the three of wands in reverse here. This is you either waiting for your ships to come in and you're fed up because you just feel this person's just never coming in because the three of wands in reverse is sick and fed up and tired of waiting about something. But this is also you turning your back on a situation that you've been trying to manifest for a very long time. I feel this is more about you, Scorpio. It's all about you. Let's try all right, tell me, why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here? <clears throat> why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here? For Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here for Scorpio? Six of Wands. So yeah, there's been a breakup and now either you're wanting to move forward here or there's someone here who is definitely wanting success with you, okay? After there has been this um, ending or after this breakup. <coughs> Six of Wands is public recognition. It's success. It's forward movement here, okay? So it looks like after this ending, there's someone here in your environment who's heading towards you and who's wanting the success with you. This is also someone who's wanting to probably even introduce you to your to their friends or wanting to introduce you to their family, but someone who wants forward moment with you and they're very confident that they can have it with you. What's the four of swords in reverse? Why the four of swords in reverse? Why is this the kind of situation? <laughs> they are coming to talk to you, baby. Four of Swords in reverse and the Two of Cups here. This is someone coming out of that silent mode, coming out of that silent treatment. And what they want is they're coming towards you with that Two of Cups. Okay, this person wants a relationship with you. They do. You love them too? Don't tell me you don't. I mean, you may be in that death uh, and the moon here, fear, etc. I mean, Nine of Wands, but you still want it. Like I said, you haven't given up. You still want to give this one last shot. You love them too? You love them too? Uh, tell me about the king of pentacles. Why is this helping or hindering this? Whoa. Dude, the king of pentacles has a lot going on. A lot going on on, the, on his mind. Tell me about the king of pentacles. Why is the king of pentacles here? Who is this king of pentacles? Who is this king of pentacles? Whoa. One second. The high priestess in reverse had to fall out. Looks like you could be dealing with someone who has a hard time trusting their intuition, okay? Could be someone who likes to listen to other people's opinions and they just have a very difficult time listening to their gut, their instinct, yeah? Because their instinct tells them to move towards you, but either people's opinions or there's just someone who distracts themselves, you know, instead of going within and trying to find the answers within, just dealing with someone who tries to, who rather distract themselves and not looking the situation for what it is. 
and rather just take it at face value, okay? Someone very superficial, you know? Uh, tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. The Hermit, yeah. This person has done their research with the Hermit here, okay? This person's probably uh, someone who's ghosted you. Like I said, right? We already had the ghosting here. Uh, this is someone who's very wise. I won't take this away from this person, okay? Someone very wise. But you're definitely dealing with someone who gives you a lot of mixed signals, okay? That's why the moon here. That's why the confusion here. They're in and out, in and out. Not like they don't love you. There's a lot of love here with the two of cups. That's your soulmate. We have the two lovers here. That's your twin flames. So soulmate, twin flame, strong ass connection here, okay? But it's, <clears throat> it's a cycle that's repeating itself, all right? And you're fed up of it. You probably are like, dude, when we love each other, then why can't we just get into this commitment, right? What's stopping you? This person could be someone who's very materialistic or someone who's very, very focused on their career, work, goals, or someone just non-committal, someone who just does not believe in those intense love relationships. They probably just uh, focus on themselves, okay, and just have flings. Could be dealing with someone I'm getting who doesn't like to be emotionally involved, with someone, they'd rather be with someone where there is this detachment, you know. But with you, they get very attached and they're in love with you, right? So it's it's a sense of uh, responsibility, right? So they kind of keep running away from this, yeah. But with the hermit here, this time, I think when they're coming back, right, they've done a lot of research. They've done a lot of thinking about what they want from you, a lot of what, when, where, how, why. And that's when they're coming in. They want to offer you this relationship, and then what forward movement with you? The magician here could be dealing with a Gemini. I have a little Gemini here. <coughs> this is someone who has everything that they need to make things happen with you. Okay. They see the opportunity and they're going to be hell bent on making it happen. Again, <clears throat> not like the magician is a bad energy, but it is someone very manipulative. Okay. So yeah, just... Just, just be a little careful about that manipulative energy, okay? So they're going to do twist and turn the situation and going to give you grief, but they're going to do whatever it takes to get you back into their life. Just saying. Okay, tell me about the world here. <clears throat> what is this world? Whoa. <laughs> that just flew off. Ah, you went to things with someone who was sneaky. The world and the seven of swords here. Yeah, you could have ended things with you closed a cycle off with a liar, a cheater, or someone just plain deceptive. Like I said, seven of swords here. Okay, I mean, see, three of swords in reverse here. Definitely someone who caused a lot of heartbreak, okay? Someone who literally broke your heart. They could have just done something. Like, this is someone who broke your heart on a very conscious level, okay? They know what they were doing and they did it. They did it. And you just chose to you know, close off this cycle here because this is just someone very manipulative, very deceitful, okay? <clears throat> they could have lied or they could have, I mean, they could have just hidden, okay? The Seven of Swords is not only always lying, cheating, but there's deception. Deception in a way that someone who has a lot of feelings for you, but they weren't always telling you the truth because I don't see a third party here. I just see that there's a lot of love here, right? Like I said, someone who keeps running away from something stable or when you need to put in that label of that commitment or wanting to be exclusive, that's when they want to run for the hills. And you, you ended a cycle with this kind of a person. <coughs> Tell me about the judgment in reverse. Yeah, temperance in reverse here. Someone's in your... You have two major arcanas in the near future here. Someone could be going nuts over a reconciliation or someone could just be losing patience because you're not giving them a second chance. This death, I keep getting drawn to the death here. Look, you're so fucking guarded. That's why I keep feeling there are chances you won't give this person another opportunity. You don't want this reconciliation. I keep getting that. There's a lack of reconciliation here. I mean, it's weird, but it is what it is, okay? So, yeah. If you want a reconciliation with this person, then probably this is not who I'm reading for. This is not the Scorpios I'm reading for. I feel someone's losing their shit over this reconciliation because you don't want to give something a second chance. <clears throat> the temperance in reverse is like all in, all out, right? There's a lack of balance here. Someone's being going to extremes. 
probably to even get a reconciliation. And they're going nuts over this. That's what I'm getting. Tell me about the death. Tell me about the death partner. Why is the death partner of the stopping? Looks like you ending things and <clears throat> you probably want a transition where you want this person to open up emotionally to you because this person has been emotionally very unavailable and you want this transition for you from the death to the page of cups. You want this person to open up because this person could be someone who anyways has a very hard time opening up emotionally. Someone who is emotionally very, very immature. But again, at the same time, you want this person to come in and apologize probably. But you want this transition of where this person starts to open up and tell you what they really feel. You want this person to be more expressive towards you. <coughs> What's the lovers? Or this could also be you wanting someone who's more expressive, okay? Because the cups is all about emotions and expressions, right? You definitely are looking for a change, but this is a new phase in your life. You ended a very uh, significant phase in your life, all right? And from the death to the page of cups, it's like you're wanting to either start new, completely with someone brand new, or this is just you who's wanting someone, you know, to come towards you with that huge change and like open up this time. Tell me what you feel because see seven of swords, right? I keep getting someone who repeats a cycle with you. You know, it's like a, um, it's a very repetitive, dude, what? All right. Tell me about the lovers, please. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here hidden in the hidden environment for Scorpio, please? You're going to have to make a choice, Scorpio, is what I'm getting here with the lovers. King of Cups in reverse here. You're going to have to make a choice probably between two people because that's what's coming in your environment that you don't see coming, okay? You're probably dealing with someone, like I said, emotionally unavailable. Or this is just you who's very shut down and you're not being able to make a very um, mindful decision. Your uh, emotions are very imbalanced, okay, with the King of Cups in reverse here. And um, this person probably, you know, is someone who just drives you nuts, okay? They uh, drives you nuts in a way where, you know, they come in and they create a lot of chaos in your life is what I'm getting. It, they create that imbalance in your life. Just, just learn to trust your intuition, okay? You're, you're not being able to trust your intuition with the King of Cups in reverse here. You're having a hard time. You're just being very cold, very detached towards this person. Probably even emotionally manipulative or just someone. You're dealing with someone who can be, who's quite a blackmailer, you know, emotional blackmailing. All right. <clears throat> That's the kind of person who's coming in towards you. That's why, see, that's why you're so guarded. Because see, see, what I'm seeing here is you know exactly how this person is. That's why I said this is cycles. You know, you know how, exactly how they are. That's why you have the moon and death here. And that's why the judgment in reverse here. You know how they are. And you know, like, it's like, oh, I, I've seen that before. You know, something like that. Like the, the four of swords in reverse with the two of cups. I've seen that before. You know, the, the page of cups, the apology. I've seen that before. You know, something like that. It's like you're waiting for something new. You're waiting for something that just changes the entire scenario which makes you trust this person more you know and doesn't put you in that at that in that spot of fear give me the nine of wands what's the nine of wands why the nine of wands three of swords in reverse here see you want to work with this person okay with the three of pentacles here but with the three of swords in reverse here why do I get the three of swords in there also is recovery. But again, it could be either forgiving and move on also. Maybe you want to forgive and move on, you know, because now I feel you're so guarded. There are chances you don't want to let this person come in. Your guards are up. Your guards are up. You don't want to let this person come in, you know. You'd rather just forgive them and move on here. <clears throat> probably even ending things with someone immature okay <clears throat> or you're probably ending 
that immature way or with the page of cups is someone who's a dreamer right rather than a doer but you're putting an end to something very emotional you know like you probably no longer want to think emotionally maybe you want to think more logically you know you don't want to have this emotional approach towards this person because you're a scorpio right you feel deep tell me about the three of wands in reverse here as the outcome Scorpio, you're guarded. Looks like you're dropping them. You could have tried to weigh out the pros and cons, okay, but now you're turning back to them. You're turning back to turning your back to a situation that you've been waiting for for a very long time. And when it comes in, you're choosing not to give this any energy. Because the two of pentacles in reverse is also dropping something, right? juggling two things but you made up your mind this is also being decisive yeah you could have been very back and forth till this person didn't come in and the moment they come in you know and you're like no i'm done why do i keep getting no ace of cups you're choosing to love yourself you're choosing to love yourself tell me about the moon dude that's very intense why do scorpio readings have to be so intense tell me about the moon what's the moon Whoa, <laughs> Scorpio, why is so much going on on your mind? All right, yep, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That fell out before also. You're very negative, Scorpio. I need to say this. You're being very, very negative about the situation. You feel it's going to be the same shit, different day, okay? You feel it's going to be a repetitive pattern. You feel luck is not on your side. You feel things are just never going to work out with this person here. Um, but it's a wheel of fortune, right? Which means this could be a karmic cycle, right? So right now you're at the, at the bottom of the karmic cycle, okay? So right now things probably may look like very negative. It may look like, you know, like this shit is never going to work out. But with the moon here, you're giving this more energy by being even more negative about it. Okay, the moon is again, like I said, right? It's more of your belief system. It's not reality. The moon has nothing to do with reality. It's either got to do with your uh, with your past experiences or it's just a lot of fear. I mean, fear of something that before it's already happened, right? And you're already setting into your conscious mind that it's going to be the same shit again. And you don't want that bullshit, okay? You don't want no nonsense this time. But they're still coming in. And when you say no, they're going to lose their shit. They're going to be batshit crazy when you say no. They're going to be really pissed off. But looks like you're pretty sure about what you want this time, Scorpio. Maybe you're just leaving this relationship that had no stability and moving forward with the six of wands here. You're doing you, Scorpio. You're doing you. You could be having a lot of public recognition. You could be in the public eye. You could be doing very well at work. You know, people could be looking at you, eyeing you, very jealous, anything, okay? But even if this is not people, this is this person who's looking at you, doing so well at work. But I don't know why, Scorpio. I'm reading this for the Scorpios who doesn't want to give someone a second chance, okay? So if this is your reading, then this is your reading, okay? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.